Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Previously, we have covered the database operations, create, read, update, and delete for Cloud Firestore. It's time to upload different files and images to Firebase storage. I have availed the storage service from Firebase and here just like uh, we provisioned Firebase Firestore, uh, same is the process here in the storage. You select a data center and you select a production or test mode to get your storage bucket created and it's the dashboard to handle our your storage here. It is the reference to our storage bucket that we have just created. I have created a Firebase storage project on Firebase and have connected it to my local Flutter app which is Storage Flutter. Here, from here we will be uploading images to the Firebase storage. But before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please make sure you like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. Now, let's create a bit of UI here. I will give a bit of spacing from the top to uh, after the title we have a uh, set which is the firebase storage here i will give it a height of 50 then let me add a circle avatar that will be showing the image and it will have a child and that will be an icon it will be icons dot camera we want a camera to be shown here so let's see what happens yes we have created a circle avatar with a camera at the center i will increase the radius a bit and it will be oh it's very big so let's make it a bit small now we have to align this circle avatar to the center wrap it in align set the alignment property to the alignment dot center and now our circle avatar is in the center we need to resize the icon as well let's give it a size of 50 and it's looking good now we will tap on this to pick any image and then we will have an upload button here that will upload the picture to the uh, firebase storage so here uh, i need to add uh, an adjuster detector or an inkwell that recognizes tap on this widget i will use the on tap property here i will I will add logic for the picking an image and then uploading to the file store. So here let's uh, create a to do which will be pick image that we will do later. And then down here after align, uh, let's give some spacing again, give it a height of 30 pixels. And uh, now here I will create a button. Let's uh, design an elevated button with on press set to none and the child will be a text that will be showing upload and we have this button here whenever we tap on this button we will uh, this uh, callback is called and here we will put our logic for upload to storage upload to firebase storage here we'll pu we will put the storage uploading logic here and we have this stateful widget here so now let's come to the dependencies part. What do we need for this project? Here in the pubspec.yaml file, you need this Firebase storage in addition to Firebase core. Uh, Firebase core definitely is used for every Firebase uh, initialization in Flutter project. And we also need to add an other dependency, which is image picker. That let us pick images from either the gallery or direct from the camera. So uh, let me add this and then we can go forward it will be added and uh, now let's use it here let's use the functionality here here uh, in the state i will have a file and it will be nullable let's use a dot io it will be the image and we will use this image to show and upload file to the firebase storage it's taking a bit longer because i have my internet is pretty slow it may take a bit of time but till that time we can do some work here upload task it will be tracking our upload progress so we will be showing the progress as well so let's give it a name upload task and and now as we have installed the package here in the pubspec.yaml file we have this image picker installed and now let's utilize it to pick image from our gallery here I will remove it and uh, I will create a variable named picture 
and it will be taken using the image picker instance dot pick image method here we have to provide a source for image which will be image source dot we can either select camera or gallery i will take it from gallery and add a semicolon here it will be an asynchronous operation so i will add a wait here and whenever this picture variable stores the result we need to uh, check if the picture is not null because uh, there may be a case when the user uh, go to the gallery but doesn't pick any so in the in that case picture will be equals to null so here we have to put this check of not equals to null and then uh, when it verifies that the image has been picked we need to store that image or that picture in this image variable which is of type file so we need to convert it to file first and then store it in the image variable so we will use the file constructor here we need to uh, input the path the path will be taken from this picture which is of type x file and we can uh, extract the path using this uh, getter path and it image will be equals to this thing and we will set state to update the state uh, of our app so that the app knows that the image has been picked from here so this is how we will pick this file and here for ios when you want to use the image picker you need to add these lines uh, sorry we go to the runner and here in the info.plist file we need to add these three permissions that i will enter in the description as well for your convenience you have to paste it here in this file then the image picker will work without any problem uh, and that's uh, how we can pick the image now uh, let's pick an image and display it here in place of this icon so uh, let's use the image here we have this alignment and then we have the circle avatar we will replace this with uh, an image if in case the image is picked so i will use that image that we have created in the state if it equals to null so we need to show this icon here but if the image has been picked so now we need to show uh, an image uh, with the file constructor here we need to enter the file which will be image and i will put a uh, an exclamation here so now let's try it i will pick an image from here there's a problem uh, let me restart the app and see what happens control function f5 to start building the app in debug mode the app has been restarted now and let's tap on it to pick the image and see the gallery is opened i will take this picture from here and you can see it has been replaced here uh, let me press a keep current selection here i have to decorate it a bit i will wrap it inside a widget which is clip oval that will make it rounded and let's see what happens we also need to give it a bit of sizing which we can give from here uh, we can specify a height of 100 and a width of 100 as well so let's see it's very small we need to fit this in as well so i will add box fit and it will cover the wall a space and it's good but we need to uh, increase the size from here as well now it's looking good uh, when we tap on the upload it needs to be uploaded to the firebase storage for that we need to write code here so i will write some code here i will use the firebase uh, storage here and i will create an instance and using this instance i will get the reference to the root widget let me uh, store it as a ref a reference it refers to the uh, this root path here we need to create a child uh, that will create a custom path for the file we will be storing and that is going to be uh, images and here we will 
uh, pass the path of the image that has been picked so here we will use that image the same image we have picked from the gallery and we will uh, copy its path and we will store the image as uh, it images slash the image dot path which means the path of the image you have picked here so let me add a, a question mark here and we have created the reference now we need to upload the file so for the file to be uploaded i will use ref dot put file and i need to pass the file here which is the image and i have to put this uh, exclamation here as well it will upload the file to the firebase storage uh, we also want to keep the uh, upload now let's store it in the upload task we have created earlier and then i need the snapshot of this upload task whenever the file upload is complete so i will create a variable snapshot and uh, i will store the snapshot of it whenever it completes so i will use the when complete method here and now when it is complete we can get to download uh, url for that image that we can open your browser as well so i will use await and then snapshot then the reference after that get download url then let's uh, print it to the console as well i will use url and with the dollar sign you will use the download url and it will get printed to the console here we have done a mistake here we have passed the path of the image and the path itself contains lots of slashes so it will create lots of nested directories and then in the end the file will be stored so we don't want that we just want the file to be stored in the images directory directly so we need to replace it with the name but we don't have the name available in the uh, file object that is here so we need to change it here we are storing this image in the file so i will use the default that is been uh, provided by the x file image picker uh, now here we also need to change this as the picture is itself x file so i will directly assign it here then here it takes the file uh, object so we need to change it to file so i will use this file and then i will uh, add the x file here and then i will use the path to get the file object first and then I show the image here here uh, now uh, i also need to convert it to file here and here in the path we can just now uh, change that directly to name and here we need the file object and i will use the image dot path it will be first converted to file object and then it's going to be uploaded uh, so now let's try uh, let's restart our app because we have changed the code uh, and now let's pick the image i will use this one and whenever i tape on upload it will be uploaded to the firebase storage and whenever the upload is complete we will get a download url here in the console uh, now let's see if the file has been uploaded or not refresh the tab and you can see we have this images directory and then we have this file stored here and it is the name of the image and everything is good we can also go back and here in the images we have this file here we have uh, received the download url so i can open it in my browser so let's open it and with this link we have the image file shown here so that's how we upload the files we can also listen to uh, the the upload activity uh, by showing an indicator so for that what we can do is that here uh, below the button we can also add uh, a progress indicator so i will use the build progress method to create a widget here i will have to use it down there and then here it will return a stream builder and that stream builder will listen to the upload task and then inside the upload task we have this snapshot events that we can use to listen to and here in the builder uh, we will uh, add the code that will be showing the progress so here if i come down here uh, we can uh, check if the snapshot received uh, has some data then we can show our indicator and it will be return circular progress indicator and it will have a value uh, we need to get this value first so here i will use uh, a data variable 
to get data from the snapshot first sorry snapshot dot data and whenever i get this data i will take the progress it will be of type double because final can be changed at runtime so it will be progress and then uh, we will have this data dot uh, bytes transferred divided by data dot total bytes uh, data dot total uh, number of bytes total bytes it will give us the value that we can convert to percentage and it will be the progress uh, uh, sorry here we will uh, add the value which will be the progress and uh, we will set a color that will be green showing our progress and the background color will be set to gray i will use the colors dot gray set it to gray so this indicator will be shown but we also need to handle the else condition as well it will just return a size box or empty space when we don't have any data and let's put a semicolon here uh, we also want to show some uh, percentage in the middle of this progress indicator so we will use stack for it i will use the column and here it will be a stack and we can also set the alignment to center so it will be the alignment dot center to place the text in the center and here we have this text it will be uh, the percentage of file uploaded it will be the progress and we will multiply it to 100 to show percentage um, and then we also need to round it to uh, two decimal points so round to double and then here we can show the percentage here it will show us the percentage in the middle of that progress indicator and now here whenever uh, we uh, assign this value to upload task we need to put a set state here in order to uh, let our app know that upload task uh, has now some data and also when the upload activity is completed we also need to let the app know that the activity has been completed so we'll add a, a set state here and we will set the upload task to null and now our functionality is good to go it will show an indicator uh, and we have this build progress here uh, what i also want to do is whenever this button is tapped so we only need to be showing that progress so if the upload task uh, not equals to null then we want to show that uh, indicator and when it is equal to null we need to show this upload button and now let's save it uh, restart the app and see what happens here i will pick this uh, image and uh, uh, sorry let's change this image and add this one instead and then when i tap on upload an indicator should be showing here and we have this indicator and a file has been uploaded and you can see the upload is now showing here we have some problem here so let's fix this indicator here i want the stroke uh, width to be something like eight also uh, i want to give it a value of i will i want to resize it and let's give it a height of 100 and a width of 100 and it will be good now to let's see uh, how it looks now so uh, let me upload uh, another file and that will be this one and let's tap on upload you can now see that this uh, indicator is showing us the uploaded task and then we have the url here that we can open in our browser uh, that's how we upload different images and files to the firebase storage that's it for today video I'll see you in the next video goodbye